Hey y'all, uh, sure y'all watched the first duck video. I froze most of the duck breasts, but I kept a couple of them. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of lunch tacos with some duck. This is probably not gonna be as quick as as the leftover lunch taco videos, uh, particularly because I've got some other things that I have to do before I even cook. So I'm gonna start my marinade right now. You gotta put a little Worcestershire sauce. Got a bit of cane vinegar here. And then just some Italian dressing. This is not going to be very fancy. And this sort of thing that air out of it sort of thing you could probably cook almost anywhere now this was brined overnight uh, so I didn't want to go too much on the Worcestershire sauce because it's, it's already gonna be a little bit salty and uh, before I get to the duck let it marinate I'm gonna uh, Grate a little bit of pepper jack because duck always goes well with a little bit of heat. And uh, this particular pepper jack here, it's got some heat. Grate that. All right, now I'm gonna go get the the grill started. Pull out a couple other things, and I'll see you right back here in about. About 15, 20 minutes. Um, gonna go ahead and start the grill here. I tend to, I don't know, maybe it's because of my, my handedness or whatever. I tend to keep my left too hot, my right too cold, my, my zones. So we got this started, close the lid, let this get hot in there. Uh, and I should see y'all back out here in about. All right, we're back here. <clears throat> it's been a little over half an hour with these marinating. Uh, probably would have been better to marinate longer, but I'm not too worried because they're about to get wrapped in bacon. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Put them on this paper towel and pat them a little bit. Just want to get them dry enough to to cook well. Uh, so I have three pieces of bacon left, two breasts. So I will uh, I'll see how far I can go for each one. We'll start with the little, the smaller of the two. They're, they're pretty close, but. I'm just going to give it a good wrap here. I'm also out of toothpicks. So it's definitely gonna take the second piece. I'll put these on the cutting board. And I'm gonna wash my hands and then uh, I'll meet y'all out at the grill. All right, here we are out here at the grill. What are we at? We're a little over 400. Let me 
expected it to be a little hotter. I guess I either need more propane or to clean off my burners. Maybe both. So I am going to start. I'm putting the small one on as it was uh, wrapped in one piece of bacon. And now I have the challenge of putting the larger one on wrapped in two. Got it on pretty well. All right, close the lid, let this cook for a couple minutes, and then we'll flip. Be back here in about two or three minutes. Let's see how well I can flip this without unraveling. Maybe not great. <laughs> Toothpicks are really helpful for this. Maybe skewer it if you don't have toothpicks. So I know a lot of you are thinking this is uh, an awful lot like duck poppers, but without the cream cheese or the jalapenos. The reason I'm not doing that is because since I'm making tacos, pepper jack is my cheese and peppers. I didn't want to, to overcomplicate it. So I'm gonna let these go for another couple minutes and then I'll start temping them. So I'll be back in yeah, two or three minutes. Try and flip that back into the same spot. Hopefully that's that's hot again. Oh yeah, that's a little flare up. Bacon fat. Good for flavor, bad for Temping it that I'm about to do. Okay, the little one's at 115, the big one's at 94. So we got a little bit little bit of time to go. Yeah, I'm gonna move these up, get them away from that flare up a little bit. Problem with bacon on the grill. I'm going to close the lid to keep some heat in, but I'm not going to walk away just yet. I'm going to stand here and listen. You can, you can kind of hear when those flare ups happen. Why you ask, am I not just putting my temperature probe in for my remote alarm? Because with those flare ups, it can get seven, 800 degrees right there, which is hot enough to melt the plastic at the end of the probe. They're rated for, for more barbecue sort of temperatures. Now I have the Thermoworks Blue Dot, uh, it's the blue tooth one that I can I can check from my phone, which is great. Thermoworks is great. Again, they just didn't make that particular device rated for that. If you want something that's rated to be able to go at higher temperatures, uh, you want to, to upgrade to something along the lines of the uh, ThermoQ. And that has ports for multiple probes. They're the fully metal ones. It's got data logging. ThermoQ Wi-Fi is... Um, I guess the equivalent to the, the blue dot in that it has uh, connectivity to the app. So uh, I've just got the blue dot, so I have to 
work within the, the constraints of what I have. Oh, I'm losing my bacon. Let's get some temperature here. One fifteen. Are you really that high already? Oh. Oh, the little one might need to come off and the bacon isn't even cooked. Oh. I say they're they're both about ready to come off and the bacon's not cooked. Oh look that that fell off. These these got went fast. There is one other thing I forgot to do on the grill. Eat up some tortillas. I suspect the little one's done. If that's how done that is. Yeah, that's this one's ready to go. To be on a taco. This I'm gonna put back on. Do I ditch the bacon? I think I will. Hopefully the bacon fat gave it some nice... Nice bacony flavor. Well, not well. That one is appropriately done. Medium rare. All right, the first duck taco appears to be ready. All right, let's give this a try, see how this turned out. All right. The duck and the pepper, obviously, that's a classic combo. Oh, this one, yeah, that heat and the duck, a little bit of cheese. This is this is different. This is a great taco. Sorry for the little tossing y'all around here. This has been a little bit different of a video, but man, this is a good one. Let me uh, have one more bite and then I'll make up the other one. So. Yeah, it's good. Mm. All right. Hey, all right, y'all. Go ahead. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Hit that little bell for notifications. Do all the internet video things. 
getting the comments, doing all those things, lets the uh, lets the servers word of life and satellites link up in space to know that you like these sorts of videos, show you more of them, lets me know what to make more of. Uh, so thanks for watching. Go ahead and do all those things. I'll talk to you later. Bye.